Hi, welcome to another exciting, ah, it's not a tutorial, it's more a presentation um, for architecture visualization. So when it comes to architecture visualization in Cinema 4D, most of the time we want to model with a floor plan. So first, the first issue when we model with a floor plan is the picture is not fit to scale. So when we consider here the, this drawing here, the technical drawing of the floor plan is fit to scale, but the picture isn't. There are also additional dimensions drawn on it, and so the whole picture has other dimensions as it is in real. So we have to ensure uh, when we uh, that the dimensions are right in Cinema 4D when we start modeling. There are two approaches. Uh, to model architecture uh, with floor plans. The first approach is to go in the f top view, for instance, start your um, view um, um, settings here uh, and load in a background picture. Load on your floor plan and now you have here the floor plan as it is here on the picture, the right dimensions, everything is fine. Yeah, And now we can start modeling the, the with, for instance, a plane, resize the plane, go here, instance, for instance, and resize to the wall thickness here, and now we can start modeling from here. But first problem now is our plane. has not the right dimension as it is real. This plane thickness here is 12 centimeters, about around about 12 centimeters. In real, the wall is 27 centimeters thick. So now we have to, maybe we, we round that, trunk that to an, to an integer, to a fully number. So here, value. 12 centimeters. Now we have to remember later that this 12 centimeters are 27 centimeters in real. And yeah, so now we have to remember that. And now we can start modeling here. For instance, uh, start modeling our walls. Yeah. And so on. And when we have finished, for instance, when now we have finished with our floor plane, the top, uh, the, the 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 floor, and the the first the first um, um, uh, floor and the second floor. When we have finished, now we can resize our project string, uh, control D, and scale our project. We know 12 centimeters in width is 27 centimeters in the new width. And now he resize, he resize the model, the complete model, and we have exactly the, 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 the scales. But there is another approach to achieve that when you work with Cinema 4D. And first, uh, let me delete this background picture. The second approach is to create a material, load in our floor plan, the color channel. And now we create a plane. Let me make it one. And now I put this texture on the plane. The first problem is the texture fits exactly to the plane. So the dim original dimension of the picture are totally um, messed up. So when we now use quarter mapping, it has not the right dimension. Uh, play matting doesn't work. So we have to, in front map it also doesn't work. It has another dimension, but it is not the original dimension of the picture. It seems that it is, but it isn't. You look here, it's a little bit uh, not so high, a little bit wider. So we, the only thing we have to uh, to be sure that we have the right dimension is that we when we use camera mapping. So we use our camera, choose that to camera mapping. 
choose our put in put in our camera into the slot and now we have the right dimensions here and now we we calculate we calculate the, the dimensions and now we have the right dimensions of the camera uh, of the original model here see now it is the original So now we can start modeling here and now we have here our material we well, first of all let me measure this the plane may not be a polygon object so first of all we choose here our measurement tool measurement object and now here are the dimensions we copy the dimensions now we make here a polygon object out of this and you will see a UV mapping now. Uh, it doesn't work, UV mapping. Uh, we have to make here a UV tag. And now we have UV mapping. We can delete our camera. We have the original dimensions now from for this. And we have a 3D plane now with original. And we have the dimensions. Now we can scale our, uh, our project. Here, scale it. Type in those dimensions. and type in the original 1200 and now the whole pro project is rescaled and also here this uh, dimensions are exactly 12 meters for instance you see about, around about 12 meters so now we can as like we did it before with the with the other method we can now start modeling here. You go in the top view. And also the same approach here. Create a plane. Put it here. Make you first of all here this. This is um, X-ray. And we have here our plane. Resize it. And now the same here. T. Yeah, now if you have a wall size, we know it is 30 centimeters or 27, around about that, 30 centimeters. So wall thickness, and now we can start modeling here exactly with that. Yeah, this is the same, and we go through and also start modeling. And now I created a little tool which is uh, makes it a as well easy. So we have here our material plan. So first of all, I call this little blueprint here. Call this in my in my settings here. This is the blueprint here. And now I um, go here and load in a blueprint picture. I load in here from the desktop my blueprint and you see automatically the blueprint is sized to the original picture dimensions we not have to as it is in the frontal view uh, the, the first method we have every dimension is right so now we have to measure it to rescale it so we Draw and take a spline tool, go here to the wall, side of the wall here, and here, escape, and pull this spline into the two, two point spline slot. He measures the spline length, and we type in the original size of our of our original model. Enter, and now he creates here the resized second here the resized uh, floor plan we can delete that pull this out and now we have exactly the dimensions of our floor plan here we measure it and we see here this is exactly 1100 centimeters as 1200 and now also we can start modeling here 
There's a new plane. We don't have to resize it now. So it is all resized now. Yeah. Uh, the complete project is resized during the modeling process. Mm, yeah. The only thing we have to do is now um, put this plane here, resize a little bit, type in 30 centimeters here, 30 and 30. And now we have here can begin modeling exactly here. So now to uh, no scale, and we can start modeling here with 30 centimeters. So now we are exactly fit to scale now. Yo, this is the first thing we can do. We load in the texture and at the same time we scale our project. So the first approach is the best, I think, with the background, but then you have to rescale it later. And here you rescale it suddenly, yeah, at the beginning of modeling. So when now when you now add, for instance, uh, furnitures or you model a kitchen, you can at this moment uh, take the, the right dimension and you are always fit to scale at the at start of, of modeling. So that's cool. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Yeah.